Yo, how's everyone doing today? This is B with well, Let's Talk About Tech. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a case review for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let's go ahead and jump right into the Amazon app. Okay, so it's going to be from Spigen. It's going to be a Slim Armor CS. It's going to be designed for your Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let's check out some of the images here. Okay, so this case gonna cost you guys about 19 bucks. I could drop a link below if you wanna check it out. And also guys, they got a 5% coupon here. If you click that box, you'll save an extra 5%, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's check out some of the product information down here really quick. Okay, before we get started, just wanna say thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate y'all being here. Also, anybody watching this video right now that's not subscribed, I want you to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. All right, let's check out the box. So it's gonna be from Spigen. It's gonna be the Slim Armor CS. It's gonna be a simple white box. It's gonna be nothing fancy. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so here we go. This is gonna be the credit card slot right there. Okay, we got a little bit of branding from speaking right there. Over on the inside, we're gonna have some web patterns for shock absorption. Okay, let's see how it looks on the phone. Okay, so right out the gate, it feels really good in the hand. Now it does feel a little bit slippery on this part right here. Like all of speaking cases with this brand, with the credit card CS one, this part is slippery. I've had this case for previous versions. I've had it on my Note 10 Plus. I've had it on my Note 20 Ultra, and it's just kind of slippery material here. Let's just check out the different design changes too with the new one for the Note 22. I'm sorry, the S22, they changed the design up a little bit. Like before, it was all one level, as you can see there. But with this one, it's gonna be a little bit different design there. Okay, as far as comfort, like I said, it feels really nice in the hand. I really like this pattern design up here. I think it looks really nice. Now, I wish they would use this pattern for the entire back of the case because this part is grippy. So I feel like they should have used this part on the entire case. It would have gave it a lot more grip. Okay, let's check out the rest of the case. Over on the bottom, we got all our cutouts. We got our S Pen cutout right there. So it's gonna be easy access for the S Pen. That's not gonna be a problem. Over on this side, our power button and volume rocker is gonna be covered up. Let's go ahead and check it out and see how it works. Okay, so the buttons are gonna be nice and clicky. They're gonna be nice and responsive. That's the power button. Let's check out the volume rocker. Okay, the volume rocker is gonna be nice and clicky as well. Over on top, we got our single cutout for our microphone right there. Over on this side, it's gonna be nice and smooth. Okay, as far as screen protection goes, we do have a nice lip on the top and the bottom here to protect your screen. So it's one there, and it's also one there. So if you wanna put your phone down on a table, it should be okay. Your screen should not get scratched up. 
All right, let's check out the credit card slot. Let's go ahead and grab a couple credit cards and see how it works. Okay, there we go. So it does click into place when you close it. So it's not gonna fly open. You're not gonna lose your credit cards. It snaps into place pretty nicely. Okay, let's check out, let's check out wireless charge. Okay, so wireless charge is good. Let's check out reverse wireless charge. Okay, reverse wireless charge is good. That's not a problem. Okay, let's check out the lay flat test. Okay, so this case is gonna rock. So if you guys wanna type or use your S Pen with this case on, just keep in mind that it's not gonna sit flat on the table. It is gonna rock. Okay, so the stuff that I don't like with this case so far, I don't like the back part. It's gonna be slippery right here, just like with their previous cases. This material that they use is a little bit slick in my opinion. I wish it was a little bit more grippier. Like I said before, I wish they would have used this material on the entire back of the case. It would have made the case a lot more grippier. Other than that, the stuff I do like, I like the price. For 18 bucks, I think it's a great deal for this case. Like the cases for the Z Fold 3, they were charging like 50, 60, 70 bucks. They were getting out of control with those cases. But this one's 18 bucks. I think it's a great deal. Also, I like it's going to offer great drop protection. The corners are reinforced. So if you drop your phone with this case on, you should be okay. Okay, also what I like, I like that the credit card slot is in the back. Me, personally, I like sometimes I go to the gym or I go out to dinner or I go for a walk. I like to just grab my credit cards and my ID and put it in my phone and I'm good to go. Like sometimes like carrying a wallet for me is really inconvenient. But with this case, I got my phone, I got my ID, I got my credit card and I'm good to go. So this is really convenient. Also, I like this ridge on the back of the case. Like previously, on these cases, it was no ridge on the back, but with this one, it's gonna be two levels. So this ridge right here is really nice for resting my index finger. So when I'm holding the phone, it gives me more grip. So I really like this design. It's so overall, I do really like this case. Like I said before, I always get this case for all of my phones. I think it's a great option for me when I'm going places that I don't wanna carry my wallet. So I do like this case, I do recommend it. Like I said, for 18 bucks, I think it's a great deal. If you guys are looking for a case to carry your credit cards in, I think this might be a great option for you. Okay guys, what you think about this case so far? Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you guys got any questions or comments, hit me up below, I'll be happy to answer. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And other than that, you guys have a good day. Peace out.